No, don't hold your hands like that. <laughs> oh. Honestly, I feel like I've never even been that scared. How scared he was before he went out. No, what are you doing? Yeah. Good morning from, wait for it, wait for it. Cincinnati, Ohio. Who'd have thought our first stop this summer Cincinnati? would be to just middle America? Why? Why are we here in Cincinnati? Callie, you're in the wrong line. I like your new backpack. You got your shirt? You got your shoes? What else? No Wendy's. <laughs> what? For real? Oh no. Oh no, mom. I guess who bought that for you? Who? Dad, you bought it from me. Yeah, you like it? Thank you. It's your own sketchbook. And guess who hasn't drawn in it? No one? <laughs> Nobody. <laughs> there he comes on your marks. Get set. Wait. Dad, we won. You beat the train? No, no, no. <laughs> train wins. Skeleton. I think you're right, it is a mammoth. Wow, keep going. Faster. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Why would our very first stop of like an epic bucket list summer be Cincinnati? Ohio? I love our itinerary Botswana, Namibia, Madagascar, the Arctic, Cincinnati. But this is why. Let me tell you about a company. Introducing perhaps one of the most special companies we've ever had the opportunity to work with, truly. Nehemiah. Hi, Nehemiah family. I can't thank you enough for coming all the way from Hawaii to come visit us in Cincinnati. And to Dorothy, Manelli, and Callie, the three of you will be many CEOs for the days you're here. Can we put it on? Okay. The mini CEO just went straight to his head. Nehemiah is a manufacturing company out of Cincinnati, Ohio that hires second chance employees. When I first heard that phrase, second chance employee, I had never even heard that before. Second chance means someone that has had felonies, that has been incarcerated. Someone who needs a second chance. When the road gets dark And you can no longer see First of all, let's just talk about the experience of going to a manufacturing company. Hey, 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 hey,
Yeah, right? Yeah, right? I remember my first time as a child going to a factory. It was a sourdough bread company. Oh, really? And I remember going to it and being like, this is where bread comes from. And it like stuck with me. I don't think I've ever been to anything like that. I'm just saying, as a child, it was such a cool experience to know like, oh, bread doesn't just appear on the shelves yeah. at the grocery store. Like, there are people that work really hard to bring these products about. So to give that opportunity to our kids, especially Manila was just soaking it in. Manila. It, he's such a thoughtful person. He likes to think of things and where things come from. And so for him to sit, you know, walk into this factory and see people, you know, pulling out empty bottles, filling them, putting a package on it, putting it in a box, and then watching it get shipped off, he was like, oh. We're um, squeezing it in. It looks very easy. Nothing over here. The majority of the employees, the people that Nehemiah has hired, are these second chance employees. We got the opportunity to speak to so many of them. I remember when Mike was speaking with us and he said words that just got me straight to the heart. He said it was so hard for him to find a job simply because people were just judging a book by its cover. He said that his past employer said, just so you know, I know what you've done and we're going to keep an extra close eye on you. Don't you mess up. He was just bound to fail in that type of environment. Whereas Nehemiah, he said, when he got the opportunity to come to Nehemiah and meet with the founder, Dan Meyer, that Dan said the words, I understand you've had a difficult past, but you're welcome here. We believe in you. And that different mindset of, we know what you've done and we're gonna judge you for it versus, I understand what you've been through and we wanna believe in you. I mean, that's the Nehemiah spirit, right? That's what we learned. That's what was our big takeaway that we want to live by. I can't tell you how glad I am that the summer started off here. Yeah. We have these travels big and far and these huge adventures, but to be in our own backyard in the United States of America and see, you know, a culture and a place so different, but so nearby. Just give these loving arms a try, baby. Have a little faith in me And have a little faith in me Have a little faith in me Nehemiah, we just want to say thank you. You opened our eyes to just such a different side of this world and the goodness that you do, the goodness that is your team, your family. Uh, we're, we're grateful. We consider ourselves now part of the Nehemiah family. And we're forever grateful for that. And have a little faith in me. And have a little faith in me. And have a little faith in me. Have a little faith in me. Our ask to anyone watching this is to please check out the Nehemiah website. They do so much good in the world. There's so much that we can learn from them. We want to support them, the products they produce, and really the people that they employ. Thank you so much, Nehemiah, for starting the summer off the way it should be. Bye, Nehemiah. Bye, Nehemiah. Bye, Bye. whatever this place is called. Nehemiah. Nehemiah. Bye, Nehemiah. Kelly, can you kind of buckle back? Of course. <laughs> Oh, oh, man down. Crash. We got you, buddy. Oh, that first step, that first step will get you. Oh, all right. Come on, let's go, Crash. Oh, no, where's your cup? Okay, let's go. Yeah, I'm the green poopoo shoopa. Yeah, it was in the race, they wear hats backwards, and one of them is green. Perfect. All right. Bing, 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 go. And he's off again. No touch, don't touch, Kai. Don't touch. All right, get on. All right, that's enough, Kai. <laughs> so then we traveled from Cincinnati, Ohio, to the place where I grew up, where my family still is, a place I will forever call home, Utah. I could go around the world, find a stand. Precious pearls, they'd all turn to dust in my head Seven wonders, city streets, ocean air and mountain peaks They are not the 
honest in the land Much more than these I've seen firsthand There ain't nothing, there ain't nothing There ain't nothing like coming home to you Remember when Dorothy first drove in this exact same spot? And her smile on her face? You driving? Dorothy, remember how bad you were driving at that Madesh World in Dubai? On the little, uh... Yeah! Oh, my God. Good job, Dorothy, good job! Turn, turn, good job! Good job! Well, you were a terrible four-year-old, all right? <laughs> and no matter where I go, and no matter what I do, there ain't nothing like coming home to you. Where the heart resides Brothers laugh and lovers cry Hold each other up when we can't stand Back home with my family It's right there where I want to be It's all I need to be a rich man There ain't nothing There ain't nothing There ain't nothing like coming home to you And no matter at Bucketless Studios had a yard sale. Go back eight years ago when all of this journey started. Here. In Utah, it began with a yard sale. We had sold everything to leave on this journey around the world. So we wanted to celebrate with yet another yard sale. What are the chances? What do you think? Oh, that's super cool, bud. You like it? What's it say? Where are you going to work today? <laughs> all right, so these are our new friends. They travel from Finley, Ohio. Yeah. All the way from Finley, Ohio. Your name's <laughs> Mava. She's five years old. And what did you just buy at the yard sale? A camera. Dorothy's old camera. <laughs> I, it means so much to us that you're gonna have Dorothy's old camera. It was super special camera for her, and now it's yours. And then Asher, how old are you, Asher? Seven. Seven. You guys are awesome. Thank you for being here. Well, I'm just out here telling another story. Oh, but this time I'm just singing what I see. This here guitar gives me the nose. This old drum gives me the pulse. When it comes to running songs, we've got everything we need. And what's your question about sharks? Um, yeah. What animal do you like? Oh, oh. Um, I really like tiger sharks. It's like a shark but with stripes on it, like a tiger. I like a tiger shark. Really? What's your favorite animal? Snakes. 
like Don't tell Jessica, it's her least favorite. She's scared of him. You're not scared of him? <laughs> uh, wait, did you know where I met Russia? Yeah. Yeah. Aww. <laughs> All right, we got, are you Finn or Hayes? I'm Finn. Oh, you're Finn. You're Hayes. Me and Finn rock the same shoes. Here we go, here we go. Awesome. Thank you guys. Thank you. So these are our friends. Where are you guys from? Germany. Germany. From Germany. Now the only thing we need is for you to clap on B. What's your name? Uh, I'm a bucket list. It's a twin family right here. <laughs> yeah. I love it. All right, what's your name? Um, Anastasia or Anastasia. And Anastasia, she's a bucket list investor. Where are you originally from? I'm from Russia, born and raised. Russia. I'm from Nizhny Novgorod. Wow, wow. Yeah. 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 Очень приятно. Спасибо. How old are you? Show me fingers. Two. No, two. 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 <laughs> Where are you going? I'm going to Montevideo, Uruguay. Oh, are you going to hear it? We first met in the LAX airport. Oh, that's right. We've been basically pen pals ever since on email. So stoked for all the goodness in your life, Meg. I'm happy for you. Cheers. <laughs> wait, 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 real quick. Come in. Brooklyn. Brooklyn. What are you showing? I'm showing my bucket list that I made in, um, inspired by these guys. Okay. I'm excited for it. It's going to be great. We soon will take a bow and leave the stage. And the merchandise will all get packed away. Your face paint looks so cute. It looks cute. so good. Look at that, with the hat. <laughs> Alright, say bye. Claudia. And where are you from? Venezuela. Oh, thank you for being here. La la la. 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 Big thank you to everyone who came to our special event. Man, so much love and support here and like community. I think they see, you know, the hometown boy here. Um, and we're just grateful for everybody that came and supported and gave us hugs and just hearing your stories. I want to finish the special video with just my very, very special moment from that day. And that was when the event ended with break dancing. Manila is all about break dancing these days. So we surprised them with the local break dance team. It was so legit. <laughs> This team, oh my gosh. I was like such intimidated. Good kids. So Manila, he comes to me, just tears in the eyes, like tears going down his cheek, crying. He says, I don't want to break dance. And I just wrap him up and hug. I say, it's okay, buddy. You don't need to. 
is it that you don't want to or you're just feeling nervous? And he looks at me and he's just like, I'm just so scared. I was like, I get it, buddy. You've been working so hard. You're such a great break dancer. If you don't want to do it, you don't have to. But if you're feeling nervous, I think you should try to relax, take some deep breaths, and I think you can do it if you want to. He decided to go for it. I'll never forget, like, I've, I've never seen, honestly, I feel like I've never even been that scared. How scared he was before he went out, it was incredible to see somebody go from that level of scared and still go for it. I feel like even in my life, when I reach that level of scared, like, it's just crippling, I can't even do anything. And so to see him master that, harness it and go for it. I'm so proud of the kid. Well, we've had him in lessons for just a very short time and he has grown so much. You can tell how much he loves it, how much he practices it and he crushes it.